Hey guys, it's Drew. I got another Dow Strong unboxing tabletop sort of review uh, for you guys today with some tabletop first impressions. This time it's a little bit different. It's still a pan. I got probably about, I don't know, five or six Dow Strong pans now and, uh, and pots and whatnot. But this one is going to be my first uh, non stick from Dow Strong. Uh, it's in their Oberon series. They have their Aberon and their Ovalon. Oberon and Avalon. Blech. It's a mouthful. Um, the Oberon being their more budget friendly um, options, which I believe this actually cost me, what is it, maybe 40 bucks on a sale? It was pretty crazy. Um, I think normally like 130 or so. But. Just to go into some of the things on the uh, box here, and, and Dow Strong is known for their packaging, which is pretty awesome. This is a three ply aluminum core, so it is, uh, <clears throat> so it's stainless steel on the outside, and then it's got aluminum core in the middle, and then stainless steel on the uh, inside. So it's supposed to help it with heat distribution, make it a little bit easier. So, and that goes into the next bullet point: unrivaled conductivity. Uh, I mean, I would beg to differ on that. They have a five ply and then five ply is kind of the standard for high quality stainless pans like uh, all clad and uh, and actually the Avalon series that are copper cores and all clad I think is supposed to be the top top. Um, this is supposed to be heavy gauge uh, steel and aluminum. Uh, it is and it's got a little bit of heft to it, a little bit of weight for a pan which is I like. Um, not everyone will like it uh, but it gets heavier than this. Um, Non-reactive cookware is what it's saying. That's because it's stainless steel um, and aluminum, of course. Stainless steel being one of the safer pans to or actually maybe the safest to eat on since, um, what is it? There's PFOAs and, uh, you know, just chemicals. Uh, I think they're called forever chemicals is what they're nicknamed. They can leach into food from some non-stick materials. Um, sorry, this is kind of tough to read. All right, flared on the sides, which we'll see here shortly. And uh, actually, it would probably be easier, instead of me just reading the dang box to you guys, let me just take this out real quick. That way I can show you what we're working with here. So all of these Dow Strong pans come with this kind of wrapping paper on the outside, so let's just get rid of that real quick. I'm just going to end up crashing it, so I'll rip it no problem. But it goes all the way around. Makes you feel like you got a nice little present. Which is kind of, I think what the deal is with Dow Strong right now is... Uh, pretty much pre-Christmas sales, just before Thanksgiving, uh, at the time of the recording of this video. It's about to be November here soon, or we're about to, actually, we're about to hit Halloween. Um, so getting there. All right, so all Dow Strong pans come in this kind of, like, satin material uh, bag. These bags, I mean, I don't really know what to do with them. I save them, but I have no idea what I'm going to do with them. If you have any ideas of what I could do with these bags, uh, just leave me a comment below. And it also has a uh, a pot. I think they call them pot savers is one of the nicknames for these. You just, you know, you would put it in the pot or pan, and then you can stack more pans on top with more of these to keep them from scratching each other. But at the end of the day, it's stainless, so it doesn't necessarily matter. It's the coating that you have to worry about, which goes into here. I mean, pop that out. That's actually pretty nice looking. It's got a little bit of a, a colored hue to it that I wasn't, not that I wasn't really expecting so much. It just, it looks slightly different than the other pans that I've used. Uh, so what's this green sticker say? Made without PFOA, where I was saying forever, chemi forever chemicals can leach into the pan, or leach into the food as you're cooking. And then it says, Eterna from Whitford, the world's longest, long-lasting nonstick. Not longest. I made that up, but... See, is this going to be easy? Oh, yeah, it's very easy to take off. Cool. All right, so a turner. It feels nice and smooth. The nonstick goes to the uh, the bolt heads here on the inside, which is nice. For some reason, some cheaper pans ended up not having these these two bolt heads as nonstick because it seems like one of them small details that can easily be overlooked because it's like, why make sure these are nonstick? Well, you know, just in case you have it. You know, it's, it's kind of a pain in the butt to make sure that these things get nice and clean, so... It's one of the reasons that I got this particular pan. It was cheap, easy to clean, and I'm replacing some non-stick um, cookware that I have currently from a brand. I think it's Cal Capilon or Calphalon. I can't remember off the top of my head. But, all right, so what we stopped at on the uh, box, if this will pick it up here right above my finger, you really can't tell on this particular series, but you can see the cladding very, very finely. If Maybe if it'll focus, I'm not too sure. 
the cladding being you can see uh, steel aluminum and steel on the sides of this it'd probably be easier to give you an example by grabbing another Dow strong pan that I have all right so here is a Dow strong saute pan um, actually that would be a bad one too because these are the different series but the ones with the copper core the slightly more expensive ones in the Avalon are really good to uh, tell with this let me see I have one right here okay so if you look at the side of this particular pan you may be able to see right above my finger now there's a little copper line that goes uh, all the way around so this is a five ply this is a Avalon series and this five ply is great so it's gonna be the same concept with this except again steel aluminum steel I know I'm kind of bouncing all over the place with this stuff but I do like how light this one is in comparison to the other stainless one like the Avalon that I just pulled out that's five layers a little heftier so let's pull this out which is going to be the lid which they also keep packaged separately as you can see it has the booklet in here and it has its own little present bag so let's get rid of this box okay throw it to the side so we have two little present bags one for the lid one for the pan and then we have a pan protector or pot protector which is just a little foamy kind of material just throw that to the side here's the lid for these so the Oberon series lids I actually prefer which may seem weird because I like being able to see through it even though realistically when you're heating up stuff at a higher temperature this bad boy is going to steam up you might not be able to see through it as easy but I like the vent hole the knob on this is nice because I've said in the other videos as well that I would recommend you go check out and see that on my channel uh, I like how you can see the screw and the head uh, through the actual uh, lid itself where in the Avalon series you can't uh, it's completely covered so it makes me feel like it's more of like an epoxied on sort of thing so I just I, hasn't happened yet but I've, I've read about uh, people having their entire knobs fall off on the Avalon series which was crazy to me to think of there's just a little bit of wobble in it just enough to make me feel comfortable with it because the heat is going to obviously cause everything to expand or contract whatever the case is uh, let's see, what's it say on the bottom here? So this is the 10 inch. Uh, it's just going over the cladding, the conductivity. It's oven safe. Um, it's able to be used on all the different stove types. Doesn't matter if it's electric, induction, all that stuff. So convection ovens, the whole nine. So it's good for everything there. So again, this is going to be replacing this. This is the oh, Circulon. I said Calphalon. This is a Circulon pan. Um, I have a set of these that I've had for a few years. They're generally holding up pretty well, but the, the non-stick part is starting to kind of wear off. They, they tend to only last a couple of years, and depending on how well you take care of them. Uh, that particular small one is uh, the lightest used of the bunch. The other ones that are larger I got rid of. This is obviously what's going to be replacing those two. Uh, I do like the handle on this, on how it's kind of squared off, which may be a little harder to see. But it's... Uh, kind of nice and blocky it feels good it's got a good little good purchase on it and on my other Dow strong pans it doesn't get hot until you get to maybe about an inch or a half an inch after the bend here and then all the heat seems to be from about where my fingers are and forward so if you hold it like this back here you're fine but the second you do something like this and you rest your finger on that bump right there you're going to feel that heat if you're cooking on medium or at least that's how it is for me um but yeah, it's it's cool to the touch all the way back here, which is nice. So it's got really good heat dispersion in the handle. It is, I believe, a hollow handle just to help with dissipating that heat. But it's closed off in the back with a nice Dow Strong logo that you can see. So no grease or anything is going to pop in there and make it harder to clean. Uh, let's see. The other side of the bolts here, there's no screw heads. It's just push in. So they're all press fit, which is nice. You don't have to worry about anything loosening up on you too bad. This is, I do like this. It's not completely straight up walls. It's kind of goes in and has a nice angle. So it's not going to, yeah, I, I do like that a lot actually now looking at it. I almost wish I would have gotten the, the larger size or the smaller size because I believe these come in 9 inch, uh, which is the, the bottom measurement across, I believe. Uh, so it comes in a 9 inch, 10 inch, and maybe it's 12 if I'm not mistaken. So... Let's hear the bottom measurement for this is, looks like eight inches. 
So that would mean the top measurement here is going to be about 10 and 3 quarter from the edge to edge. And this is a 10 inch pan, so it looks like what they did was do an inside measurement here for the 10 inch measurement. So it's worth noting that this is an inner wall to inner wall measurement up here at the top, not the bottom. It's 8 inches of surface at the bottom in the 10 inch pan. Some people might not exactly know that, so I feel like that'd be worth mentioning. So again, just to kind of show the difference in the Avalon and Oberon lids that I was talking about, this is a large lid that's kind of dirty. However, this is all steel versus this one, which is just the metal outer ring and then the uh, knob, of course, and then the air hole. This air hole is just a drilled hole, so it's real simple, real easy. Uh, the inside, if you remember me here talking about that screw hole thing where you can not see the screw in this because of the epoxy sort of deal. This is kind of what I'm talking about here. So I just have the concern with a lot of use that that's not going to hold up, which is where this one's a little different. Obviously, you're not going to see inside the pan using this, but you have the chance with this. So it's nice to be able to just walk by and check on your food after a couple of minutes of it going. So that's it for that. Let's just take a peek in this booklet right here. Um, I'm curious on how to season this one because I know the other stainless steel pans you have to go through a little seasoning process with some oil or butter, some kind of fat you have to melt and then give it a wipe and all that just to kind of make sure it's good to go. Uh, so I'm just going to pop this up here. If you choose to pause it and do any reading on your own, by all means, I'm just going to kind of fly through this, go through each page. Hopefully it's somewhat legible with the way that this is. Okay, the product catalog is going to be the rest. That's another thing. The Avalon cookware has got these hammered sides that you can see right here in the picture. Where the Oberon or the more budget friendly is going to be more just a flat, you know, no design on the sides. Just like this particular pan here. However, I do like it for just regular everyday cooking. I mean, the, the Oberon is perfectly fine. Uh, oh, yeah, and it shows it again. Avalon, it shows the different series of their pans here. Which are closer to, I think the cheapest Avalon pan that I've seen on the sales is the uh, the little sauce pots. And they still go for like 60 bucks on, on like 50% off sales. It's pretty crazy. Versus these larger frying pans, which are like $90 on the sales. Um, so I definitely wouldn't be paying full retail price for these. Let's see, knife rolls, knife bag, magnetic things. Cutting boards, which I have a cutting board. I have the house knives over here. Like them all, I don't have aprons, I don't have the whetstones from Dow Strong, I do have whetstones. Uh, the joint VIP code for 10% off, just make sure you type in joint VIP at the end, you get that 10%. They also give military law enforcement discounts, I think it's military, um, that you can use either ID.me or one of those other programs on their website and be able to get a nice discount using that. So yeah, that's uh, that's it for this. This is the non-stick Dow Strong Oberon 10-inch pan or a frying pan. So if you like this kind of content where I'm kind of giving some first impressions, tabletop and unboxings, leave this video a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.